Hello everyone, Anthony Austin here. I'm finally getting around to doing all the review, full reviews on the equipment I've been sitting on until now. And uh, we're going to start it off with the full review for the Bushnell Nitro Scope. As you saw in the other video, we have the Bushnell Nitro 6 to 24 first focal plane uh, mill reticle mill turret scope. It comes with the mill deploy pattern uh, reticle, which breaks down in as a floating center dot and a mill Christmas tree underneath. And I absolutely love it. Now, it's not perfect. I'll get into what could be a little bit better about it, but for the most part, it functions really well. And being first focal, first focal plane, it means the mill radians are correct no matter what magnification setting you're at. The downfall of that is, which the biggest pitfall of it, is the floating dot is also in the first focal plane. So that dot gets fairly large when you zoom all the way into 24 power. If you're shooting at something closer, you're better off not being at full 24 because uh, it makes the the dot huge. <laughs> it's actually bigger at 100 yards. It's bigger than the and a one inch circle at 100 yards. So it's yeah, just a little bit bigger, and it's not really that great for when you're trying to do precise shooting because if as you know you aim small you miss small anyways so that's uh, really the only major negative about the scope now I the more I've been using it especially shooting at ranges or long ranges I have not really cared about whether or not these turrets are capped or not because I said it is been setting it at zero and using that awesome reticle to uh, to go ahead and I'm using holdovers. I have only spun the turrets a couple times for targets, but anything shorter than 400 or even 400 to 600, I wouldn't even bother uh, spinning the turrets at all. I just use the holdovers because here it is one of my groups at 400 just using uh, the holdover, just going setting it at uh, two mils, just past the two mils on the dot and just letting them fly and as you see we had a uh, left yeah left to right wind so it pulled them over a little bit and that's you know, a little bit of spin drift but not enough to do it now much say so but that's using the holdover this one was used from using spinning turrets and I only shot three at it so you can see they're they're a little closer to the center but there's one, two, three, and this was number four right here. And I was actually covering up the, the target a little bit too much with the dot as I didn't zoom back out. And I should have just just used, used the holdover for 400. It seemed to be more precise, actually. Um, not that these turrets don't track well because they tracked perfectly uh, one mil at 100 is one mil on the dots uh, it was 3.6 inches so perfect so crank one mil and it moves it 3.6 inches at 100 yards um had nothing to complain about one of the the things I really like about this this scope is that it will focus it has parallax adjustment from 10 yards all the way out to infinity. Now, some of the newer modern high power scopes, uh, you can't get them to, you can't get the parallax adjustment under 25. Some of them you can't even get under 50 anymore. But uh, most, you know, most are 25. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah. Aluminum body, 30 millimeter tube, lets in plenty of light. At 24 power, it does have some dimming. It, do, it is noticeably dimmer um, at 24 power than it is at uh, all the way down to six power. Now, notice it more when it's overcast out. When it's really bright out, it does happen, but nowhere near as bad. And paired with, you know, just as you see here, no, no 
sunshade or anything else, uh, it just, I was able to notice it a bit. It was, wasn't that big of a deal. The glass is very clear. It was just as, as clear as uh, uh, any the, the mid-range Vortex uh, scopes that we had out there, Vipers. Um, so it, it worked well. I, I can't complain. Super easy to level. The very easy to adjust the zero um, location. Hold the tube there, or hold the turret. Unscrew the top cap. Pull the turret up. Line it up on zero. Press it down. Oops. And press it down. Put it back on, and it's now on zero. It does not have zero stops built in, so you have to keep track. There's also no uh, elevation hashes underneath, so to see how many rotations around you are. So you have to keep track yourself. But it's fairly obvious where you go down to zero. So if you go under, it changes it drastically. So remember how high up on the uh, line it is for your zero and you're good to go. I shot 600, 400, back, I shot 600, back to 100, 400, back to 100 using the turrets and it would go back and re it'd go back to zero every single time so I, I couldn't get it not to go back to zero. Uh, so nothing to complain about. You know, I love these caps still. Real springy, lock up good. All the adjustments work exactly how they should. Nothing gets tight or but and or loose. I am going to get a throw to uh, make this a little bit faster for you know try to shoot a competition this year. But that being said, this was still you know they actually when I first got it, it was kind of stiff and now it's lined up nice to just enough resistance where you know you're turning it and you don't have to worry about it getting bumped or just wearing out. Ah, what else? That's really all the major things I can think of. So I'll show you what the turret looks like. See a couple zeros <laughs> or a couple targets. It's a lot of fun shooting steel targets. You can go, if you know your uh, your holdovers just quickly and easily using the Christmas tree. Go right to your holdover, pull the trigger, go to the next one, pull the trigger, and you know it's going to hit. It's it's too much, much too easy. <laughs> More too easierest. Anyways, the uh, it doesn't make it worth pulling the turrets and adjusting them all the time. Now, past eight, 600, I imagine I'm going to be spinning turrets, and I, I don't have a problem with that. I have all my ballistic tables built, and it just makes it a quick little turn. So just take these off, or have them off already. Throw in, let's, let's do the 400, as I remember offhand, 2.2, 2.2. The clicks are nice and uh, tactile, so. There's never a chance that was three clicks. Boom. You can just crank it as fast as you want, but and you know it's clicking. Or you can count them off well, but just by feel. So we have nice detents, nice stops, not any there's no vague feeling at all. You know exactly when it's clicked in. The only thing I don't like is you can't really hear them, but you know, I'm hard of hearing anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, well, that's uh, the full review on the Bushnell Nitro 6 to 24 by 50 first focal plane mill dot scope or mill reticle scope. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, if you want to know anything else, I'll cover it up. You all stay safe and uh, have fun.